Hello everyone and welcome back to Autonaut, where in today's episode we are hopefully going to be finishing off a uh, bit of an expansion to our construction area, either by moving over the bot components or by moving over the tools. I'm favoring the tools, honestly. But I thought I would start the recording a little bit earlier than I usually do, just to uh, confirm the way I managed to sort out this problem with all of the overlays. Honestly, it's just a case of selecting and unselecting the groups. It seems that when the uh, game starts, it auto-selects all of the groups, and and then just doesn't turn off their overlays. So it's a really, really super easy fix for anyone else who's been struggling with the same problem. Now, one of the things that I was most disappointed in the last episode to discover is that the floorboards are no faster to uh, drive on than the floor and flooring underneath. It seems that only rocks on the ground seem to give any kind of speed buff at all. And that's uh, kind of sad, honestly. I'm, I'm not going to lie. A little bit, little bit sad about that. But oh well. Now, there are a couple of issues that we've got to address and a few little uh, odds and sods that we can do to uh, improve things overall. Uh, but the first issue I really want to address is uh, quite a few people have been pointing out, well, sometimes Ike is only moving with one berry, even though the thing is bloody full. Why is that then? Well, the problem seems to uh, stem from the same place where where by sometimes I'll try to grab something from an inventory whilst the bot is currently trying to load something or maybe another bot is taking it out. Only one person can interact with it at a time. I do apologize for swallowing my words there, my lord. I clearly need another sip of my tea. But basically, it's because too many bots are trying to interact with the inventory at the same moment and as a result, I can only manage to grab one thing. Now, that is a bit of a problem. We need to fix it. Ah, chai. The perfect tea for the perfect game. Right, okay, so we are going to need to resolve this. Now, the problem seems to stem from any of my worker bots in the berry farm trying to offload. And unfortunately, pretty much all of them are, uh, except for tie rope, are berry farmers. Now, do you have any room in your brains? Well, no. Well, sort of. Actually, yeah, yes, 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 they do. They do, in fact, have uh, have this. Now, what we want them to do is they are going to be over here until hands empty, adds to the, to the battery storage. And that's pretty much all they're going to be doing there. Now, what we need is if they fail to put something in there, I kind of want them to wait. Because if it's full, and as a result, they've failed to stow something, at that point, I, I kind of want them to chill out for a little bit and uh, wait to see if something changes because there's no point in them constantly trying to, to put stuff in there because as a direct result of that, they're blocking Ica most of the time. But with only one kilobyte free, am I really going to be able to do that? Let me have a quick look. Rui, what kind of upgrades have you got on you? Uh, can I have a look at... No, I can't easily see. Uh, if I hover over Rui... No, can I hover over Rui on you? Oh, damn it. You've already got a brain upgrade. Okay, so there's absolutely no way we can fix that on this side. Um, outside of putting the weight command in here. Now, that isn't exactly the best one to do. Uh, let's see. Are there any superfluous commands that we don't really need there, but we just put in there because uh, it made things nice and easy? don't think there are. Ah, that's a shame. That is a shame because what we could have done otherwise is had a second until hands empty loop. Uh, I'll just pause uh, Ruby just there just to, to show what I was thinking of doing and that is if we had an until hands empty loop in here with a wait command with a break here. So the moment you, you broke on this berries task you drop out, you'd wait for a little bit and then you would repeat the whole thing again but unfortunately that is not going to be something that we can do so uh alas let's uh close that there Rui. your brain should now be back to normal you can carry on okay then Ika, it's gonna have to be you i'm afraid it is a shame i know uh right so unfortunately we're gonna have to have Ika wait until hands fall now that's never uh, a particularly uh nice option to take simply because that could sometimes mean that uh, Ica will be uh, chilling out, uh, just waiting down here for more berries, when in actual fact, 
there are no more berries coming but we're in a situation where realistically if that's the problem then i just need to increase the amount of berries that we're far, uh, that we're uh, we're farming rather than have to worry about there not being enough but i really really dislike having an until hands full option without a break but we're just gonna have to go with that one in this case but since you're already here I, okay uh let's go ahead and get you a bit of an upgrade then shall we i think we should Ika already has boots, so we don't need these. They can go down there. Uh, Ika will now have... Let's grab you a bit of a faster bod. There we go. Yoink. Stick that in my backpack. Grab you a better charger. There we go. And we should be able to cycle these around in my backpack. There we go. Uh, no, that's not quite what I wanted. There we go. That's a bit better. Now then, pop this over here. Coda, you got work. Uh, is that in the right spot? Yes, it is. Perfect. Right, now, Ica, until you get your the rest of your body upgraded, you're not actually going to uh, be able to accept two upgrades, unfortunately. You need to be a completely new bot, in, a, a new Mark 1 bot to be able to have two upgrades at a time, I think. We'll see in just a moment. Let's drop that over there. No, no, that was all we needed to do. Fantastic. Okay, well, you can keep your head then, Ica. Because I don't need you to be any smarter than you currently are. Though, uh... I'm not going to lie. You probably look a little bit dumb right now. Um, Ica, do you want a better brain? Do you need a better brain? Uh, I mean, I could give you a better brain. You've only got one backpack slot, so there's no real reason to give you any kind of crazy uh, uh, coding to carry even more things. So, no. Until hands fall, we're just going to remove that there. And we're going to set you to go. I think. Yep, there we go. Ica, enjoy forever. You do look a little bit derpy. I'm not gonna lie. I think maybe we need a Dalek body for you. Sorry, Ica. Uh, but uh, look, I'm, I'm looking out for you. Really, I am. Uh, we want a Dalek body, please, and thank you. There we go. Finally, Ica is carrying all of the things. It's gonna be grand. We just don't need to give him a better head. Uh, a better head would allow him to have a bigger brain, and I believe would also affect the sensor as well. So, I mean, you know, it would be useful, but certainly not necessary. I'm gonna waylay you as you drive on past about there. Whomp. Oh, wait. No, you're gonna wait until you get over there. Ah, oh, damn. There, oh, there goes my plan. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna get Ica upgraded so Ica looks a little bit better, hopefully. I mean, we, we don't know for certain, but we shall see. Let me grab this. Here we go. Here's the moment of truth, Ica. Let's see. Are you gonna look any better? And donk. Yes, perfect. We'll leave this one over there. There we go. Ica, turn to face the camera, please. I need to show everyone your your new shape. Look at that. Marvellous. Derpy little eyes and everything. Perfect. Go ahead, Ica. Enjoy. Right, so with that out of the way, and uh, with a lot more of the flooring laid, I think we should be able to uh, look into setting things up a little bit better back here. Now, on the back here... Uh I'm thinking we could probably do with moving those around a little bit. I'm quite happy with having only the pallet things on this side. So only things that are stored in a pallet. So let's have a look at moving these these uh, boxes around. We could have one down here, for example. I'm just shift that out of the way. Uh, we could have something, for example, right there. And then the wheels right there. And then finally, the pegs right there. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Then we'll have this rotated around behind. We'll grab the wheels, rotated around behind. And finally, the gears rotated around behind as well. There we go. That allows them to go straight from the the output to the input of the chest. And I think that'll actually work quite well. All right, let me uh, grab... Oh, there's no one holding any? Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, looks like we're going strong with that then. Hopefully this has not broken your brains. Probably has, let's be honest. Uh, I'm going to need to move a couple of these around, I think, just so that things don't get out of control. Right, well, we're going to be waiting for a little bit to get all of this sorted, but at least now we should be seeing a bit more wove being produced. Uh, not by a huge margin, I suppose, but uh, still a little bit more than normal. However, I am a little bit concerned about how fast you're, you're gathering this. I guess it shouldn't be something that I am worried about because we've got plenty of logs, but still, that's, uh, I'm not liking the fact that uh, there's so many tree trunks and not very many growing trees. We may have to keep a very close eye on that and see if uh, in the future we need to upgrade that one. 
Right, well, in the meanwhile, we've got not enough bots building, I don't think. We need to start using up this stone. On the plus side, now that we have the, the pegs being manufactured, I suppose we could, in fact, start looking at building some new walls. Hmm, I think this is a marvellous idea. Could we do something like that? Oh, we could. Look at that. This is going to be grand. Yes, I know. I am, in fact, making their jobs a little bit harder because they're going to have to walk a little bit further to get stuff from one place to the next. Uh, do I feel bad? Yes. Yes, I do. Am I going to change my plans? No. No, I am not. But what we are going to do is upgrade our builders a little bit. Builders, I need you to come over here, please. Pop down to where I am. Drop everything you got and then head on down to me. I think we want to upgrade a couple of our builders. Definitely with regards to paths, I'm going to need bots that can carry a lot more stone than they're currently carrying. So this is probably going to be a bit of a big upgrade for a couple of folks. Uh, Alacramps, head on down here. What are you carrying around? You're carrying around logs, so there's really not much reason to upgrade you. I could give you a speed upgrade. I could also give you a Mark II um, uh, locomotion as well. That might be useful. I could give you a uh, Dalek bod as well, so that you've got a little bit of a longer charge. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. We don't need to upgrade your brain, though. There's no particular reason to do that. What about Bone Dragon? Let's get you down here as well, please. Bone Dragon, what's your job? Uh, you're moving sticks around. You could definitely do with an upgrade. And then you can carry some sticks around in a backpack. So I'm totally okay with that one. Gruthy, let's find you. And Crystallia as well. So, Gruthy, what's your current job? You are planks. Crystallia, you are presently also poles. Bone Dragon is sticks. Uh, Crystallia is poles. Very well. Mr. Nibs now. Mr. Nibs is the bot that I'm most concerned with. Uh, Squizzly, you're in a particularly good position because you're you're an upgraded bot, so you've got all sorts of greatness. Uh, but Mr. Nibs, I feel that you're going to have a lot of work if I want to get a load of paths upgraded. So, Mr. Nibs is going to have a full upgrade, probably along with Squizzly. But other than that, maybe Crystallia and Gruthy could have a bit of an upgrade, but I'm not entirely certain that it's necessary. I think for the most part, we're just going to give them Daleks, Dalekanium skirts so that they've got that little bit of extra speed and give them a, give them a speed upgrade. But Mr. Nibs is going to get a full upgrade and probably Mr. Nibs is going to get a couple of extra friends to help out with the work. Maybe the same for Alacramps though as well because logs are time consuming to haul because you can only ever move one of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get everyone upgraded and I shall bring you back when we're ready to roll. There we go, I have just transferred over the brains. We have Nika and Mark Wolf. Thank you very much for the comments, both of you. Now, we should have twice the uh, building capacity now for logs and more than that in terms of stones as both Mr. Nibs and Mark Wolf, if I bring up their, their brains, will use their backpacks. They have expanded backpacks. All of the others have, uh, well, Alacramps and Nika have actually the basic body as well as the basic head. They don't need any expansion to their brain and they can't carry any more than one log so there's no reason to give them a stronger um uh, sorry a, a large capacity for inventory so they'll just carry on as is but bone dragon gruthy and crystallia have all had an upgrade to their body as well as having a power upgrade so they can each carry five items uh, but with mr nibs and mark wolf i uh, figured i'd just allow them to have the backpacks i well the same sort of reasoning would have helped uh, with these guys in that with a Mark II body, you already have a backpack slot, but so by not making use of that backpack slot, you're kind of um, wasting it in a way, so I guess I could do it. It's not exactly hard to do. This is how I teach them to use their backpack. It's that simple, and uh, I just need to do it for Gruthy as well. I wasn't intending to, but you know what? That's fine. We'll, we'll go ahead and do this. Now, the order of the stow and retrieve are important because you want to make sure you've uh, stowed the item before checking if your hands are full. That way you make sure the backpack gets filled first. And likewise, 
with hands empty, you want to make sure that the retrieve is the last thing, so that if the if you were carrying uh, one item in your hands and that was the last item in your hands, then you'll try to retrieve something for, from your backpack before you check whether or not your hands are empty. But they'll only have one backpack slot that they can really make use of. Honestly, it, it's six of one and half a dozen of the other, really, on, on which method is the better one to use here. Uh, simply because, I, for all intents and purposes, we've not they, they can all carry exactly the same amount uh, by use of backpack. Now, once you've got better carrying upgrades, I mean, it'll it'll matter, I suppose, if at some point a future bot can carry more than one log. That would probably uh, matter for, like, uh, lifting power versus backpack power, because I don't think we'll ever have enough backpack space to store a log. But with that, I think we are ready to turn on the builders. Now, you'll notice that this has changed to construction zone. I have decided that from now on, we're going to be using the billboard as the means to set the zone for our builders because this one will benefit quite largely from having the expanded area whereas nothing else really will benefit from that or at least it'll it'll cause more problems than it'll solve in the case of my recharges their sign only covers a certain area so i don't want the work areas themselves to be larger than the area that a regular sign can cover and i'd rather not have my bots carrying a billboard around they will look ridiculous but there we go we should start seeing all of this get built up rather swiftly and i'm actually really really happy about that on that note, I think it's time for us to lay down a little bit more paving. It is high time that we start upgrading these roads, uh, if you ask me. Now, eventually, we will want them to be much more upgraded than this, but uh, this will do for now. This, we're going to have to move around the, the building site, but I want highways between locations. Eventually, I want these to be three wide so that uh, we've really got room for our bots to move around but that will do for now let's have a look at our research uh, we've got a fair bit way to go unfortunately uh, but there's not much we can do about that until we upgrade or rather improve our um, cooking area uh, that's probably going to be a little while unfortunately but uh, we'll see how it goes for now how's everything going over there uh, should be doing okay yeah we're seeing the logs getting used that's that's fine but uh, hopefully we will see this place go up really really fast and i'm thinking the next thing that we're going to want to do is bring over all of the tools if we can get all of the tool crafting nice and compact in one one zone then i can stop worrying about that but with that in mind i really am thinking that we want to expand out to the north and uh, set up a larger actually have this maybe even four tiles worth of uh, manufacturing space and we'll just have the charger bot move between each one and uh, the bots will work within one segment or one quadrant of the uh, manufactorum area i think that'll that should work okay whilst uh, allowing us to get everything done that we need done let me just uh, uncover all of that there we go got some more flowers though if we do expand over here we're gonna have to deal with the fact that there's a clay deposit right in the middle of our area do i mind sort of sort of a little bit but we'll have to think about that one right i need to get our terraformers to gather some more turf because i want to turf the whole area before we continue expanding upwards so i'm gonna bring you back when there is something to report and welcome back to demon cat and reed and thank you ever so much for the patron support reed it is deeply deeply appreciated and also to walls and gates look how fancy this place is looking now we've even got part of the highway going up oh, i'm super super duper happy about this. Now, Reed and Demon Cat are going to be joining our workers in the basic manufactorum. Now, I'm not going to be changing up the toolsmiths. Uh, I'm pretty happy with them having the the uh, the name that they've got, but I shall put them in manufactorum. Let's uh, change this up. Manufactorum. Uh, well, actually, they're kind of zero zero um, tools. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Sure, that, that'll do for now. Uh, but Demon Cat and Reed are going to be working on square frames and on panels, respectively. Now, these are a little bit more complicated. Well, I mean, the square frame isn't uh, particularly hard, so I shouldn't imagine that we're going to have too much trouble. Both Demon Cat and Reed have been upgraded with boots and power, so uh, 
that should be fine because we at no point do we really need to carry more in our backpack than one thing and there's really no reason to carry more than four items in hand so we'll start with demon cat as i fancy demon cat is going to be the easier code to write so demon cat follow my lead for this we're going to need four poles so let's go and grab four poles uh, there we go and then i'm going to want you to offload them over here and that's pretty much all you're going to need to do now i just need to wrap this up in the correct kind of loops so we want you to do this forever and furthermore we want you to try and offload any um square panels first i should probably make one first i guess let me go and uh, get all of these four. There. Oh, wow, well, actually, I only needed three. Let me drop one off. There we go. Uh, if we can get all of this going first, then we can set Reed up. Uh, sorry, Demon Cat up to get all of this done for us. There we are. Now, I want to have the square frame before we continue. There we go. Now, I want you at the very beginning of your program to look for square frames and then drop them off. We want you to look within the area of the Manufactorum. There we are. So you'll uh, hoover up any that just happen to be lying around. So until uh, this is, uh, well, hands uh, full, I guess, try and find some and go pick them up. There we go. And I want this within a, until this is full. There we go. Womp. Slide that in there. There we are. I will allow you to break just in case you find something. That's fine. You can go ahead and drop those off. I then want you to wander over here and until hands empty, just drop them in there. Let me uh, get those out of the way. In fact, let me move that back. There we are. Pomp. Nice and easy. That's already taken up most of your brain and that is just dropping the things off. Ye gads. This only makes one at a time, but I do want you to, to gather items from around about. So... Oh, this is going to be a bit of a nasty one, really. Uh, we, assuming that this has been done, I want you to go until four times. Well, I, I guess we could have until hands full on this one, actually. Uh, I would like you to move to the pole storage and gather poles. Then I would like you to move to the uh, structural workbench and drop them off until hands empty. Go ahead and just unload now that one should be that simple we need to know that we've got exactly four so instead of having hands full i know it, it's effectively the same thing in this instance we'll use exactly four times and then at this point we need to completely empty your hands now we are going to need more more uh, brain space for you unfortunately so let's uh, get you down here where i can see you easily we'll probably drop the charge i would say so let's go and grab ourselves an expanded brain for you, Demon Cat. Given that there are so there, there are so many components here, it's not so much that there are different components, but there are so many being hauled. But that does imply that this one's probably going to be impossible for us to set up properly, unfortunately. Not on a, a single bot, and not um, also offloading at the very least. All right, let's uh, exchange. There we go. Right, there we are. Got a little bit more room in your brain now. Because we're going to need, well, actually, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, we're not going to have enough. We aren't going to have enough whilst also offloading. So we're going to actually need a, a separate bot to do this. That is a bit of a shame, but okay. Well, that's fine. We can easily get rid of these until square stream uh, frame storage is not full. We'll just have you wait here then. I suppose we'll just create a, a wait order and instead we'll uh, do this manually. So let's go ahead and move over to the crate, grab yourself a peg and then move over here and drop said peg in there. And once again, we want you to do this four times exactly. Uh, let's, let's be as exact as we can because that's the way you avoid any errant behavior. There we go. And pop this one in there until hands are empty I want you to go and add to the structural workbench and there we are and you'll keep doing that well as the moment this isn't full you'll make one and then you'll wait until it's uh, not full again so there you are 
Demon Cat, you can crack on. I guess you didn't need the brain then in the end, so you know what? Sure. Let's uh let's swap out your brain once more. Oops. Not quite close enough. I I do prefer if I can get them to do it all in one one bot, but I guess we'll have to wait until the next tier of bot to be able to make that one even more efficient. But you are now gonna join the manufactorum. There you go. And enjoy. Let's uh, just make sure that you actually get all of this done correctly. Uh, we had a little bit more in there, didn't we? That was a bit of a mistake. I need to drop all of that off. Let me grab all of these. Oops. One. No, no, add away, add away. Two, three. Damn it. Drop all these in. Oof. Okay, now you'll wait there. Oh, okay. So, Reed will set you up in just a moment. I'm not going to need a very uh, powerful bot for, for this particular task. So, you know what? Well, there, isn't, there really isn't a reason to make a, a sub-standard um, uh, bot when we can so easily make a, uh, a Mark 1 bot. There's really no reason to make a Mark, uh, Mark um, 0 bot just for the sake of using the easiest bot to make. Because honestly, at this point, we're, we're, not, we're not tied to resources. That's not our issue. There we go. Let's get you... Oh, actually, I wouldn't mind a... Uh, a Dalek head here, actually. Let's go ahead and get a Dalek head instead. There we go. Uh, we'll drop this head over there. Yoink. And we'll drop off the brain over here. Now, what are you going to want? You're probably going to want... Honestly, it really doesn't matter. Uh, but we'll grab power, I guess. There we are. We'll grab your a power upgrade for you. There you go. And we'll start grabbing the next one. Because we know already that we are, in fact, going to require a second bot to pull the panels out the way. Okay then, while all of that is being done, we will uh, go and get Reed set up. Now Reed, it should be okay, especially since we now know that there's there's just no hope of us being able to do all of this in a single, uh, with a single bot. So uh, do four times exactly. We want you to grab poles first, I would say. Yeah, let's, uh, sorry, planks. So let's uh, go and grab planks, yoink, and then drop them off. There you go. So move, move, and then until hands are empty. There we go. The next one we're going to need are fixing pegs. That one's not a problem at all. So once again, until, uh, sorry, four times exactly. And until hands are empty. So we'll grab one of those. And drop it off. There we go. Nice and simple. And then finally, we need you to grab... Ooh, are we going to be able to do it? We should... Ooh, we actually will need to get you an expanded brain. Damn. Damn, drought and blast. We are going to need an expanded brain for you. That is a bit of a problem. All right. Well, uh, let me pop that back in there and go grab your brain. Ah, my lord. On the plus side, we should be able to get uh, the next bot set up in just a moment. In fact, let's uh, get the bot going while we're passing by so that the next bot can be uh, being made. There we are. I'll allow someone to come along and charge you. Right, where are you, Reed? There you are. I need to trade with you. You're going to lose your charge in exchange for a better brain. There we are. Yoink. Perfect. Right then, Reed. Let's see. We need for you to... Well, actually, no. We just need you to go grab a frame and then deliver said frame to the workbench. That is all you need to do forever. Uh, but I do want you to, to get kind of locked over here, waiting for this not to be full. There we are. I think that should be perfect. Let's uh, drop everything out just so that we don't have any particular issues with it. I'll drop this down there. Makes it nice and easy. And I can literally drop this one anywhere. Because everyone is looking to clean all of this stuff up from, from anywhere within this area. Which is actually quite nice. So, Reed, begin your work. Let's see if this works. Let's uh, slide you into the manufacturer. There you go. Now, let's watch Reed do this all the way through one full cycle. There we are. Now, of course, we're going to have to add both of these 
to our builder bot as well, but this should work. There we go. And bump. Perfect. I approve. And say hello to Wother, who has finally joined the ranks. Not in the place I imagined they expected to be. No, you're not going to be collecting Wuff. You are, in fact, going to be collecting the everything. Now, hopefully, we can get all of this done with a single bot. Now, of course, we want to uh, do this forever. So let's set that up. Now, if this is not... Um, if this is... Uh, until full, I guess, then you can search for any frames, and we're going to allow you to search within the whole area. We'll set this up as the whole area of the Manufactorum. There you go. And collect it until your hands are full, and then go ahead and drop these off into here until hands are empty let's go ahead and drop that in now these are fairly hefty components now i am going to this is a, a break clause so the way this is going to work is if you fail to find something you're going to break out of this one i want this one to be a break clause so for example if you've only picked up one but you could pick up a second you'll break out and then you'll move over to start off loading However, if you fail to drop anything in here, you'll break out of the whole clause. At that point, you may actually be holding on to something that I don't want you to have. So what I need you to do is, I picked one of these up, let me get rid of these. I want you to just drop whatever you're carrying, drop all. I want you to make sure you're not carrying anything should you fail, for example, if this had space for one thing, you picked up two, you pop, popped one in there, and then you failed to put the second one in, I want you to break at that point, but then drop whatever you've got. Because you'll look across the whole Manufactorum anyway, so when you next come around, you'll, you, you will find that, that frame. That's not the problem. Now, have we got enough? No, we've got nowhere near enough for this next task. But effectively, we want all of this repeated for frames. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get you a bigger brain so that we can get that happening. Let me go and grab you a brain. I really do need to stop handing out the uh, power upgrades, honestly. We are not making use of these nearly as often as I would like. Right, whether. Let's come and give you a better brain so that you can also handle all of the panels for me as well. There we go. And we should be able to pop that in there. There we are. Perfect. Right. So with that one, we want to check until square... Uh, sorry, in this case, until the square panel storage is full. Until hands are full with a break, I want you to go and look for panels. There we go. Once again, I want you to look across the entirety of the basic manufactorum area. Then I want you to go ahead and move over here and drop them off. There you go, and pop this until hands are empty. There you go. But once again, if we encounter an error here, we will exit out of this repeat loop. But because this one wasn't, uh, didn't have an exit clause, we'll continue exiting out and skipping commands until we can leave a repeat loop that had an exit clause. So we do need to make sure that's there, otherwise you will eventually get to the forever loop and you'll exit all the way out. But once again, we need to make sure that just in case we're holding something, we drop everything at this point, right there. There you go. That should work, Wover. Let us hope. Keep your fingers crossed, because Wover is about to start getting to work. Now, let's watch you closely. Are you going to do everything that we need you to do? Uh, there we go. You're managing to move them. And once that's done, you went and grabbed the next. Okay. And you're not actually grabbing as many as I'd hoped. So there's clearly something wrong with uh, whoever's brain there. Mm, okay, and now you're not exiting this particular loop. Well, drat, we did need you to exit that in order to check back here. So, in this instance, um, we would actually need more memory because we could force the loop to break by having find nearest panel. Uh, well, what we could do then 
is... Yeah, we, we'd, we would need two extra kilobytes, effectively. Uh, that's quite the shame. Because we could have a Find Nearest panel on the outside to see if there was an, uh, any panel available, and then that would cause this loop to break out in the, in the instance that we couldn't find one. Uh, right, okay, well... We could, in this case... We're going to have to have two bots. So, we will preserve Weather's mind here. Because it's going to be a lot faster for us to give it to a, another bot if we uh, just copy that over and then delete the, the relevant part. But that is quite quite the, the, the shame there. Let's go ahead and pop this in. There we go. And we're also going to want a dialogue head. There we are. Well, I suppose we are going to be able to get away with, with having energy upgrades, if, if nothing else. So, eh, you know, there, there's, there's a positive there. Uh, we will grab... Well, do we want the power upgrade? What does Wava have? Hmm. Yes, we'll go with power and charge, I think, as the uh, as the upgrades that we're going to be giving to these particular bots. Alright, let's get over here. Fix up your brain. You don't need as big a brain as that anymore. Uh, let me store that. Though, that being said... I am going to need to give a large brain to you just so I can copy the program over. Ah, damn it. The intricacies of, of copying robots' brains. There we go. Right, now that I've got that, I should be able to remove... Well, actually, first I best uh, remove part of the code. So there we go. Get rid of all of that. Nice and easy. There we are. And at this point, I guess we don't really need the, the breakout clause. Just repeat until storage is full. Once that happens, let's have a wait command so you don't spend ages checking constantly. We'll pop in a, a 10 second wait. So if it's full, check back in 10 seconds and I think that should be fine for you. There we are. And let's now change over that upgrade. There we go. And begin. Weather should go ahead and deal only with the frames. Perfect. Right, let's go down and check you out. We're going to need to give you a brain upgrade first, just so that you can accept this code. So let's replace these. Of course, it's not going to make it easier on me. There we are. Doink. And now we can cycle through, deliver the code, and hopefully that will in fact be correct. Perfect. Right, we want to get rid of the frame storage. There we are. Nice and easy. We don't need to break out close at this one anymore. And all that, actually, that said, unless we have the breakout clause, this could potentially fail. Uh, so we probably should keep that there, thinking about it. All right, with that done, we can, uh, well, we need to drop that down, slide that up, and find a name for you. Welcome to the Automated Empire, Mirage. There we are. Crack on and enjoy. And whilst all of that's going on, I will go and drop this over down here. Of course, I can't drag and drop. The game does not make it that easy on me. There we are. Right, I need to go and make sure the weather doesn't get completely broken if uh, if a item isn't around. So let me uh, quickly stop you there and pop in the exit close after all. Oh, and we also forgot to add in the wait command. That was rather silly of me. There we go, Wubba. Enjoy. And Mirage. Let's pop in a, a wait command for you as well. Just double click on the same space. It's nice and easy. And give you a 10 second wait. There we go. Perfect. Enjoy your job, hopefully. Right, so now we've got uh, the uh, square frames and indeed the wooden panels being collected. Though, why is this one not being uh, built up? Interesting. Have you collected everything you needed? Oh, we didn't have everything there. Ah, right, okay. Well, that's fair enough then. Okay, so that's all sorted. The next step on our to-do list is to move the bots over, and that's going to require setting up this area properly with flooring. <sighs> well, on the plus side, our walls are going up, and we're almost done with the paving in here. Hooray! And say hello to MK1053, otherwise known as Misa. 
Welcome to the automated Empire Misa. Now, <laughs> Misa is going to be helping out Amira with making the uh, fixing pegs because there is a run on fixing pegs. Now, I know part of that is because uh, the uh, panels and the square frames both use quite a lot of, of fixing pegs and also any walls use a reasonable amount as well but uh, once these back up we may not find that there is quite as much of a need still that is a massive bottleneck for us right now and i'm super super lazy so we're going to go ahead and get that sorted uh, we are going to need a new workbench let's uh, rotate this one around now i'm going to need this to be built up somewhere around here i would imagine uh just so that we've got enough room to set everything up the way we want so let's grab that one there we can then yoink oh actually no we would need to wait until there was something in there in order to yoink it i'm gonna have to wait for amira to finish their current work but since this is going to require a crude axe and i absolutely don't think there's any reason for us to set up a bot who can build with cruise axes for the amount of times that we're going to need one. We'll just do this one manually and I'll uh, grab a log from over here as well. But Amira, uh, sorry, Misa is going to be doing exactly what Amira is doing, but over here instead. So let's grab you, Amira. I would like you very much to uh, hold tight for a moment. Well, I guess. Uh, no, actually, we can just stop you. Uh, could you join me? over here please in fact i could have you immediately drop everything as well it wouldn't make much of a difference but let me just crop your brain and then paste that one down here there you go perfect right now misa I, or missa i'm not actually sure which uh, way i should be pronouncing that i do apologize uh we want you to find nearest font peg that's fine or oh, fixing pegs font peg why do i keep font peg <laughs> I'm so sorry I keep using your name. I'm just so used to seeing it in the comments and in my various series where I name people. But uh, it's it's just happening now. I'm, I'm afraid you're just going to have to live with it. Uh, right. Pick, uh, fixing peg. That's fine. We want to drop these things off in chopping block four. So let me... Well, actually, I guess I can just drop that there. Let me set this one to... There we go. The pegs. We want to grab a pole. Uh, let's go and grab one from over there. There we go. Nice and easy. We want you to be dropping these off down here. There we go. Super easy. And then you can move them over to the storage area as required. There we are. And go ahead. That should be fine. Right, we can now move this one across. Just pop that in there. Nice and uh, nice and tidy like. And ooh, now this is a problem in a way. I'm going to need to load this one up manually just so the bots stop trying to gather anything from there. Uh, Misa, you can move up. Or Misa. Uh, do let me know in the comments how I should be pronouncing your name because I feel like a complete nincompoop for not knowing. Right, there. Amira, I want you to stop doing what you're doing right now because I've got to move very fast because right now I can move the entire stack. There we are. You've got to have something inside to be able to move the whole stack. If it's only one box on there, uh, if it's an empty stack, but you have told it what to hold, if you try to move it, you'll move one crate at a time, which is never what you what you want to do. There we go. That should allow us to, to progress through this a little bit faster and uh, start things moving along. Okay, next job, please. We've got uh, another problem that I would like to fix. Now, we could set up bots to build with the panels and the square frames, but that's not what we're going to be doing just yet. First, and indeed foremost, we need someone to help out uh, Kiwi over there. Let's get a new bot built. There we are. This time, though, we're going to be making spiced mushrooms because we get, we've got a stupid amount of, of loose weeds what we lack are the berries so uh, if we move to the mushrooms at least we'll be able to supplement the production because the research is going past so so incredibly slowly uh right let's grab you and let's just check what you've got equipped kiwi you need a brain and a boot very well i shall grab both a brain and a boot there we are. And let's get you all set up. Can I pop these in? Yes, I can. And this as well. There we go. Perfect. 
Say hello to Dreaming Abyss. What a beautiful name, by the way. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's uh, slide you all the way up into I Am Mother. Now then, this is where I really... This is going to be very experimental, finding out whether Dreaming Abyss is able to change the recipe over here. We, we're going to find out. Kiwi, I need you to give me your brain. So hold still. It won't hurt. Uh, it will. That's a, that's a lie. It will hurt. But it'll hurt very briefly. And so it should be fine. Right. Now, it's effectively exactly the same recipe, only we want uh, to be taking berries instead. Move to berry storage, for example, and take berries. No, no, no. We want you to remove these. So move to berries. Let's uh, record this. Dunk, dunk. We want this to be mushrooms. So let's slide that all the way up. There we go. And mushrooms. There we are. Move to crude mixing pot. I would like you to engage with the crude mixing pot here and change this to spiced. Uh, spiced. Uh, sorry, herby mushrooms. I'm saying spiced mushrooms. No, no, no. There we go. Perfect. And then drop everything off. Uh, retrieve. Drop everything off. This actually doesn't need to be in there realistically. We can have that one there instead. There we go. That should, I'm hoping, work. Let's uh, go ahead and see how this goes down. Now, what the real test is going to be is finding out how Kiwi and Dreaming Abyss work together. I was modifying Kiwi's brain. Well, that was embarrassing. Sorry. Uh, well, on the plus side, I should be able to just drop this off in Dreaming Abyss and see that Dreaming Abyss is now fine with dealing with the berry. There we go. Uh, Kiwi needed a bit of a bit of a, a change of pace. Kiwi's a little bit bored, been working very hard for a long time, just needed, needed something new, you know? It's completely fair. Uh, right, let's swap my inventory. There we go, and then I can drop this off. There we are. Kiwi, what up? Why can you not take? So let's stop, stop that there. Actually, I need to take that out of Kiwi's hands. Uh, otherwise, Kiwi is going to cause a bit of a problem. Let me drop that one in there. There we go, Kiwi. Let's see what you can do. So first, we're going to stow that. There we are. You're going to take four mushrooms. Perfect. We're going to switch this over to Spice Berry. And you're going to immediately make uh, a mushroom there. Perfect. Marvellous. Ah, here we go. Now, how is this going to go down? You've got everything you need, so you've switched this over. Are you going to mess with the me the recipe? Nope. Are you now going to be able to change the recipe? Ah, there we go. You can't. I need to create some sort of failsafe that checks to see whether or not you can change this. Hmm. Well, I guess perhaps what I could do is have this within the same loop perhaps something along those lines uh, we don't actually need this one because we should already be at the mixing pot if I slide that in there and that should theoretically work we'll we'll have a look but first I've got to empty out your inventory oh my lord this mess all right let's take all of these down here give them to me and finally, they're, they're planting more mushrooms. It's marvellous. All right, let's go ahead and drop off all these mushrooms. There we are. And drop this one off as well. Or not, I guess. Uh, fine, I'll just leave it there. Uh, right, Kiwi. Go ahead. Let's see how this one works out. Now, hopefully, you trying to change the recipe will just silently fail each time you go through. There we go. Now, that should allow you to just continue to do this at all times. So let me have a look at Dreaming Abyss. We need to make exactly the same change for you. We don't need this there because you should already be at the mixing pot. So just slide that one in there and you should be good to go. Uh, let's just have a look in your inventory because of course you're carrying a weed. There we are. It's a shame that you are as sensitive to these changes as you are, but it's just the way it goes. Right, let's have a look then. Eelstar, currently, you will try to find the spiced berries. If you can't, I'm going to allow that to exit. You've got three kilobytes free. Um, 
We could have someone else who simply uh, feeds the colonists with mushrooms in that case, or Eelstar could try and pick up whatever is available. But that does come with some caveats. Uh, we would need a bigger brain on you, for example. Let's have a look. You have got room for a bigger brain, so sure, let's go and grab you a bigger brain then. What we're going to want to do is wrap this up in a until hands are full issue. Oop. There's my alarm to wake up. This is what I get for uh, for recording in the middle of the night. I do apologize about that one. Uh, right, you'll stop. You've stopped. Good. Let's uh, load your brain. There you go. Now then, we are going to want a new item here. Until hands full, wrapped around this. Okay. Uh, first, I want to see if we can find... Well, I guess we could just allow this to break. Uh, and well, what we want is until hands are not empty. I really do wish there was a there was an option for just not empty, but alas, we do not have that. So let's pop this one down there. Until hands fall, pop a break in. Let's go ahead and grab some berry, uh, some some spiced mushrooms. There we are. Donk donk donk, and just slide that one all all the way up. Now, with this, you will just wait until eventually there is something for you to grab. But this really should exit the moment uh, you have something in your hands, and there's no easy way for us to do that. Um, without searching for both berries and mushrooms. And if there's either one of them fails, then you march on. I guess we could keep this there. Uh, until a point that you, you have your hands full of something, but the, the moment you grab berries, that's going to be it for you. Um, we could just have you try to grab berries first, and then if you try to move through this, you'll, you'll break out. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad one to go with. Sure. It, it won't quite work as efficiently as we might like, but it will work, or it should do at the very least. Let's uh, get rid of that one. There we go. Eel Star, you're now clear to go and grab whatever you can. So since you can't see any berries, you should just grab mushrooms until you can't, and then you'll move on. And then you'll empty your hands out and give the colonists whatever food you can offer them. There we are. Perfect. Now, Dreaming Abyss, what's the problem down there? Ah, this is unfortunate. Okay, because you've already gone through here once, you're failing here. Hmm. What I would need is an until hands empty. I would say, and do four times? Well, no. I don't think we're going to be able to do this with one pot. That's that's a shame, because I, I think that would have been really, really cool if we could have done that. Perhaps if we had some sort of means of checking whether the pot had anything in it at all. Um, perhaps wait until empty. Uh, but then that's checking the output rather than the, the contents of the... Uh, of the pot itself. Well, that's a shame, but it shouldn't be too hard for us to set up. So, you pop over here. I'm gonna need to take all of these out of your, your hands. We'll set up a, a second cooking pot and we'll just remove the uh, change recipe option. That is a big shame though. I, I think that would have been really, really cool if we could have set, set that up. And I'm not entirely uh, ready to sign off on that being a possibility, but for the time being, it's more important that we just get things working rather than anything else. So let's get rid of all of these. There you go. And that should be good enough. I am going to have to take this out of your inventory, though. Ugh. And I have to drop it on the floor, unfortunately. And then follow that up by taking some more out of your inventory. Because you shouldn't have... Ah, oh, really? Why have I got a berry in my inventory? Oh, I stood on... I click... If you click on the uh, output tile it will take out of the crate you don't need to click on the crate specifically which is sometimes a little bit annoying but it's fine all right let's drop these off there you go and kiwi should be good to go there you go kiwi on that note let's go and uh, check in on dreaming abyss make the necessary adjustments to your code there we are 
Right, we need a new cookpot. Now, how is this going to go? Just need six planks and a pole. Shouldn't be a problem. And there we go, Dreaming Abyss. I just need to change two points of mixing pots. So, we need to grab berries. That's easy enough. Grab two of them. And that way, we can have two sets of move two and then load. So, there we go. And then, once again. It's not actually going to be berries that we're loading, of course, but that should be fine. And now we can tell this to uh, dump everything back out. There you go. Now, unfortunately, Eelstar, we're going to need to update your brain a little bit, because to find the spiced berries, you're going to need to look in the second cookpot. There we go. Well, that will do. And we should be good. There we are. Okay. Well, our colonists should now have a bit of a varied diet, which will also mean that our research will be cracking on. Fantastic. We're doing fairly good over here, though we're, we're really chunking through those planks. My lord. Uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, we are now full on panels and full on square frames. That's awesome. And we're starting now to uh, back up with the fixing pegs. That is pretty cool. All right. Well, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up two bots to join the builders who will be tasked with the use of the square frames and the panel. So let's go ahead and get all of these together. I've got all of the parts ready. There we go. And you will be having a speed boost and a backpack. There you go. And we'll get another bot now. There we go. And there we go. Now then, we're going to have to find two new names. And say hello to Kingdom and Dodal. And thank you so much to Dodal for being a patron supporter. Right, okay. So you two are going to be joining the builder group. So slide you all the way up to the builders. There you go. And your job is going to be a fairly simple one, honestly. Uh, but we're going to need to uh, adjust a few things. So first and foremost, Dodal, I think we're going to have you grab the square frames. So... Let's grab a forever loop, nice and easy. Just go ahead, grab the square frames until your hands are full, but use your backpack as well, please. So uh, until hands full with a breakout close, move over there, start grabbing them and stow. There you go. There we are, perfect. Once you've got everything you've got until hands are empty, there we are. Go ahead and find a place to use them. Now, I'm going to use this bot workbench over here because we've got nothing up in the uh, in the crafters area, but we should be able to tell you where to look for those blueprints. That won't be a problem. And then I would like you to retrieve as well. So womp, 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 and pop those in there. But I do want you looking specifically for a blueprint in that area. And that should be you good to go. Enjoy, Dodo. I think you're going to have quite a lot of fun with that. Right, next up, we are going to have to set up... Where are you? Uh, ooh, where are you, in fact? Uh, kingdom, there you go. Right, you're exactly the same, but you're going to be set up instead to deal with the panel storage. Now, the square frames and the panels do actually take more room than regular items. They take two uh, spaces in the inventory now that's why i've given each individual uh, oh actually the panels take up a whole inventory Ooh, the square the square frames if you would noticed take up two spots much like the uh the gears and that's why i've given uh a backpack upgrade because that can hold uh with two spaces one from being a mark one bot one from the backpack upgrade can hold a uh, a third frame so uh having just a, an upgrade on power would allow you to lift five small items but still only two uh medium items so the backpack upgrade was was quite important there but i don't know if that's going to help with the frame this is going to be a bit of an interesting one then i guess uh, until hands full uh, i would like you to move over here and grab everything you can and stow it if you're able to if you're unable to don't worry. I mean, I can't right now because I've got a disc in there, but I'm. it's possible that the uh, the, the panel will be able to be held. Uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed on that one, otherwise it's going to be a very, very slow 
uh, build there. We may, in fact, eventually want to set up a second one to help out with that. All right, let's get down here. Ooh, you've got a little bit of a problem over there. Our builders may need their own um, charges. Ah, damn, Drat and Blast. I didn't consider that one. Oof, that is heavy. My lord. All right, let's uh, pop that one in there. I would like you to look for these in this area, the area of the... Uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that is wrong. That is absolutely wrong. It should be in the construction zone. My god. And then retrieve as well. So you're good to go. But Dodal needs to be updated there. Sorry, Dodal. Let me just uh, make sure that you're correctly set. That is where I've currently got the builders working. But what I want from you is to be looking at the construction sign. There we go. All right. Well, let's have a look at our charges. I believe we want charger 02. Uh, let's see. Hobo Joe. I'm going to need to give you a new area to move to. Uh, this is number two there. Uh, is this one? Let's have a look. Uh, we should be able to find out your the coordinates there. This is 263169. Okay. Uh, right, so I, I'm going to want to slide this move order in there. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to get rid of the tile first. So let me just get rid of that one. There we go. That way I can properly work this. Right, there we are. I want you to move here, please. I would like this to exist right about there. And then wait for five seconds once you get there. There we are. That should sort out all of our builders for us. There you go. Enjoy. That will be fairly easy to get going. I really love that ability. I'm slowly starting to think, though, that I might want to, A, increase the amount of charges with Hobo Joe to, to a fourth charger, and B, add an instance of every item that I ha currently have a storage for, a bot who is designated to look for loose items of that type, go p pick it up and store it somewhere. Now, the only problem with that is if uh, Hobo Joe is moving through somewhere like this, then the uh, the storage bots are going to be running all over the place and grabbing things, which is not exactly what I, I want, but it's also not exactly a problem for us either, uh, as long as I tell them to store them in the correct place. But that will be a bit of an interesting one. Uh, we'll possibly be looking at that in the next episode, because in the next one we're going to be moving along all of our robot construction up here to the bot manufactorum. Over here, I'm thinking of expanding this out and actually having the tool manufactorum, and then uh, all of the toolsmiths will be moving across, and we'll just have uh, more uh, basic resources stacked up in there. I'm thinking that'll be pretty cool. Over here, I'm thinking of expanding this out to be an, a larger forestry, because honestly, we probably need it. Look how fast we've gone through all of these logs. Now, part of that is that we're not using this forestry as well as we could. So we're probably going to be adding a couple more people to the forestry as well. Uh, namely, diggers, I think. Because we don't need extra people hauling seeds. That's not the problem. I think it's probably one or two more bots dedicated to uh, digging up the stumps and preparing extra holes for the uh, seed planters. But I'm pretty happy to see a uh, positive flow of WUV now that we've uh, set this up. It is still uh, going to take a little bit more time to get everything as we want. But once we've moved all of the bot construction up into the bot manufactorum, I think we're going to be changing this little area into a kitchen. And that should rapidly, um, sorry, greatly speed up how fast we can get food out to the colonists. Fingers crossed. But that's going to be it from me. I really do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. And remember, if you would like your bot named in the series, then do just leave me a comment letting me know that you'd like to uh, have your name on the list and Chaotocles may pick you for the next bot. Good luck.